So baby season is upon us. I've got 10 more eggs this year and I thought this year everyone else could be doing the same, have similar issues as me and I'll give you a trick that I used last year that really saved me a lot of frustration getting some of these finicky feeders to eat and that is braining pinkies. Now this may be something you've heard a lot but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and it is rather simplistic. Right, so you want some kind of sharp appliance. I'm using a needle. Some people use the edge of a standing blade, it doesn't really matter. So I'm applying the point in at the front of the head of the pinky in between the two eyes and applying a gentle amount of pressure and slightly twisting. Not huge amounts, I'm not going crazy, just some going in. Now this is a pinky mouse, it's not going to be a lot of resistance, you're going to go in straight away. So you don't need to like detonate the brain. Be gentle with it, you're going to go straight in there. But you see this, if I squeeze this a little bit, look at the liquid coming out now. You want to squeeze it a little bit like this, just gently, just so you get a little bit of brain juice like protruding from the actual wound. And then that's essentially it. You don't want to like squeeze the entire brain content out just enough so that it's like a fragrant smell that hopefully makes your snake eat. It's really good for king snake hatchlings, corn snake hatchlings, whatever species you want to try it on. This is the technique. And that's the gist of it. Really simple, really straightforward. It's not anything complicated. It's a bit gruesome, but once you've done it a million times, you don't care anymore. Quick one there, there you go. Hopefully you can use that to have more success in your breeding this year.